Hello, good morning. I've been meditating on Matthew 10, uh, where Jesus gets his disciples together and says to all of them, go out and preach that the kingdom of God is near. I believe that we are all just disciples if we love Jesus. So I believe that this command is for all of us now, today. There is a be very big uh, fear that comes against us though when we start to think about preaching especially in the western world for me when you're at work in England uh, there's such a fear that comes against you some I don't know if you ever had these thoughts thoughts similar to this so one thought goes like you know no one wants to hear this you know you're crazy if you believe this they're gonna hate me people are gonna judge me and not want to be have anything to do with me once I tell them what I believe and what the kingdom of God says, what Jesus says. And another thought that's a bit subtle as well goes like this. They already know it. But I can tell you in my experience that people do not know the true gospel. People think that the kingdom of God or the Christianity is about um, doing good things to get into heaven. But that's far, far, far from the truth. We cannot do anything to get to heaven we're not trying to avoid um, judgment. We, we are really seeking a relationship with our Father. I think it's very important to share the true gospel with people around us that, you know, there's a loving Father who loves us, you know. God will give you the gospel to preach, you know, if you open your mouth. And there's a really awesome passage in that, you know, that says, you know, um, here, you know, do not worry about what you will say at the time you will be given what to say, for you will not be speaking, but the spirit your father of your father will be speaking through you. As I have found that in my own experience, that when you start sharing the gospel or speaking to people, you know, the words are given to you, you know, that's a great promise. And he so said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid about what you'll say. And again, further down, it also says, so do not be afraid. You know, Jesus knows that his disciples are going to be afraid about sharing the gospel. But we don't need to be afraid. We shouldn't be afraid. I heard a lovely, lovely uh, saying recently uh, about sharing the gospel. And it went like this. Do not be afraid of the people who you're going to give the message to. Be afraid of the one who has given the message. You should be more afraid of, of, of God and what he thinks about you rather than about what other people think about you. So don't be afraid. Jesus said it two times in here. He knew you are going to be afraid. I was going to be afraid. But we mustn't do that because that fear, where does that come from? You know, it comes from the devil. He knows that fear can cripple. Fear will make you and me like a deer in the headlights. We freeze. We do not share the gospel when the fear is around us. And that's what the devil wants. He wants you to stay silent. There's another interesting part in Ma Matthew 10, um, 24, and it says... Um, a student is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the servant to be like the teacher and the servant like his master. If the head of the house is called Beelzebub, how much more the masters of his house? So if Jesus was called a devil and was persecuted, are you better than Jesus? Am I better than Jesus? So even so, all the more, this is scary, how much more, <laughs> how much more will the members um, of his household, how much more will the members of Jesus, us, his disciples, be persecuted and attacked? We're not better than Jesus. We don't deserve less persecution than Jesus. So if Jesus was persecuted, then we're also going to be persecuted. But do not be afraid. So do not be afraid about the ones who cannot harm your soul. That's great. They, they can maybe hurt your body, but they can never damage your soul. Thank you, Lord. I love you. That's great. And, and the final thing that really always um, touches my heart when thinking about 
why should I share the gospel? How should I share the gospel? Or should I share the gospel? Because whenever God gives you a thought, go say something about Jesus to this person. You have this thought. Nope, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. I'm afraid to do that. Every thought that comes into your mind, you know, against that. This sometimes challenges me, and I hope it will you, to you too. In, 30, in verse 32, it says, Whoever acknowledges me before men, will also I will also acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. Whoever disowns me before men, I will disown before my Father in heaven. I, I've heard it another way as well, where it says, those who are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed in front of my father. And I always think, you know, if I am not sharing the gospel, am I being ashamed of Jesus? You know, I don't want to be ashamed of Jesus. You know, I want to preach the word of God as Jesus wants me to preach. Anyway, those are my thoughts for this morning. I pray that they encourage you and bless you. God bless you so much. Bye bye.